Hi and welcome back to my channel Glamorous by Maggie. Today we are going to be doing a sexy sultry Valentine's Day look. I tried to go with um, something not too hard to uh, kind of put together but then a bright fun fun look. I also showed you what this looks, look looks like with a nude lip. Um, I do really, really like this look with the bright, bold look, um, but I wanted to give an option just because there is some people out there that don't like the bright, bold lip. Here is this look. It's a nice, smoky eye with a little pop of glitter, not too much. And I do... Um, just show you the eyeshadow look and then at the very end I will show you um, the different lips. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, I'm just taking this lightest shade and I'm just applying that all over my lid. That's just the base color. And then I'm applying it in the inner corner just to make sure it's nice and bright. Now I'm taking this kind of peachy shade and I'm going to be applying that in the crease and then kind of um, blowing it out upwards and that'll be my transition shade. And then of course just doing it on the other side as well. And just buff that all over the, the lid and the crease. Now taking this gray shade and pretty much just doing the exact same thing you did with that peachy shade, but not quite blowing it out upwards um, as much. Because you want that peachy shade to be above this gray color. Now taking that kind of dark gray color and you're just going to apply that on the outer corner and apply it into the crease just a little bit. But as you see right here, not too much. So you just want to lightly apply that just to deepen it up, but you don't want to apply too much. And then now you can see it's kind of patchy on the top. So I'm taking a clean brush just to blend that all together nicely so you don't see the patchiness and you don't see the harsh line between that dark gray and our transition gray and peachy shade. Now I'm just doing the exact same thing to the other side. And then I felt like it was um, getting too dark into the inner corners and I still want the, that to be light and bright. So again, I'm just taking that um, clean eyeshadow brush and just buffing that all out. Now I'm gonna be taking that dark gray and the black and I'm gonna be taking just an angled brush and I'm just applying that ever so lightly on the um, corner into the crease taking a, a crease brush and I am just buffing that out so you don't see that harsh black line. And then I'm dragging at it as if it was kind of like a wing liner and I'm applying it towards the bottom of my eye right along the lash line. But I wanted to apply the black with a more precise brush so it's not just blown out everywhere.
And then I'm just blending, making sure everything's blended together nicely. Taking that other brush and blending it so we can have it all blended. Find just a little bit more of that cream sh color shadow. And then just blend that color out. And now I'm taking that angled brush that we used, um, the dark gray and black color, and I'm just running that along my um, bottom lash line. And I did apply more um, color to it. And then I'm just taking a different shadow brush and I'm just buffing that out. Okay, so here is the look. Um, I just applied some uh, Demi Wispy false lashes and then I applied my mascara and this is the look. I will zoom in so you can look at the eye look and then I wanted to um, show you with a nude lip and show you with a bright red fun lip. So here is the eye look. Nice kind of sexy, sultry, smoky look. So here is with a nude lip. And I totally tried to do the kind of ombre lip and it's different. <laughs> Okay, now here is um, this look with a bright, bold, fun look. I like this look a lot better um, with the bright, bold lip. I think it looks more sexy, sultry, Valentine's Day-y. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, comment below on other videos you'd like to see, and we'll see you next time.